Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be using the strategy Boomerang Wizard Super Monkey Adora. This dude, this strategy is actually crazy. I've been using this a lot recently. Um, let's go for Adora right here. There we go. And dude, it's absolutely crazy. I used a different version of this strategy in my top 3 beginner videos where I used Bomb instead of Wizard and then Quincy instead of Adora. But dude, this, this is like even better. This is so good, the strategy. Boomerang is crazy early game. Just defends everything. Adora is really, really nice because he can buff the super monkeys. You've got your wizard to decamo for your boomerang monkey and to also deal some more damage. Now super monkey obviously can defend, I guess, DDTs for you. It's just, it's so, so good. Okay, so we're gonna go for Glaive Ricochet here soon, uh, after one more income. Go for it right now, there we go. And this, like, Glaive Ricochet, early game, just, this defends everything. It is so, so good, especially if you can get bottom path on it as well. It's just gonna defend everything for you early game, up until round... Up until round 11, I would say, it's just gonna defend everything. With the bottom path and the Dora, of course. Uh, now, by the way, our opponent is using Gwendolyn Wizard Ninja, which is an interesting combination. Never seen that, but maybe it's going to be really, really good. Who knows? Uh, by the way, with the new update, they actually made a really nice change. They uh, made the Farmer and Bloombot appear at the bottom of your ability section, which is really, really nice because before they were at the top, which is very confusing because with your one, two, three keybinds that will grow, you can use your abilities. Um, but the Bloombot and the Farmer didn't count towards that, meaning the third one on your ability list was actually number one. So it's just incredibly confusing, so it's a very nice change that they made. Uh, now we are at round seven. I would say I should probably start equaling with Blacks now, because in four rounds he'll be able to send a Purple Rush, which is very, very scary, and for a Purple Rush we're gonna need, uh... We can defend with other things as well, but Mower Glaze is going to be very, very nice. He also had to Tower Boost, which is... <laughs> Interesting, we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, but yeah, for Purple Rush, Mower Glaze is going to be incredibly good. Uh, it will defend against it. And yeah, that's just the way that I like to defend against that. I just like to go like this, just farm with some blacks here, and we can go for that. Um, now, what you do need to remember in the strategy, you need to make sure that you get a... Shimmer up, which is your bottom path wizard uh, Before round 12. That's when your opponent can send camos and it's just gonna be really scary if you don't have the The camo up of course because oh uh, did not mean to send those Because yeah, obviously you're not gonna be able to defend those if you don't have camo detection. So let's go for Hmm you know what, as long as he doesn't send anything, I'm not gonna go for it yet uh, and the shimmer I'll just go for it like Right at the start of the map, because why not? Okay, so it doesn't seem like he's sending anything, and it's already round 12. So let's go for the D camo right now. Uh, let's just be careful here in case he sends a rush. Yep, there we go. He goes for a camo rush, in fact. Uh, let's go for more glaives, because why not? It's just a little bit scary. And let's get back to equing. The only things you have to watch out for at the start here with the strategy is that uh, these two with Fedora are not going to be able to defend against Moabs. So you do need to do some things for that if you want to be able to defend Moabs. Now there's a lot of things that you can do. Oh, yeah, let's just get rid of that. Why not? Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do here to defend Moabs. You can go for top path wizard. You can go for middle path um, boomerang or bottom path. That won't do enough damage, but it'll at least push them back. Uh, you can obviously go for super monkey. I mean, that's what the super monkey is for in this strategy. Uh, so you can do a lot. You also have your Adora abilities, which will help out a lot. So, yeah. You'll be fine. Just remember that only this is not going to defend him. Now, I think what I want to do on round 18 is send him one fortified Moab. Uh, just to see what happens. Yep, so it's round 18. Let's send one. Just like that. And we'll see how he does, how he does against that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to bloom boost it. Oh, and oh, that's not going to be enough. That was good though, we made a leak. Wait, we did not? Oh, just kidding. It was lag. Okay, I guess he did not leak. 
Well, that's close. Okay, I think it's about time I go for some more defenses though, just in case he sends anything. So let's go for a super monkey right here next to our uh, glaive ricochet. More glaives thing. There we go. And I'm not going to go for any upgrades yet. I'm just going to place this down just in case. Actually, you know what? Let's go for some upgrades here because this is a little scary. There we go. Just this is fine. So the best thing on Super Monkey to do against um, things like DDTs or just, just Moab class balloons is going to be the Dark Knight. Uh, as you can read here, increase knockback and pierce and deal extra damage to Moab class balloons. So that's just going to be really, really good against your Moabs. And then... Uh, cross buffing it with the top buff is going to be your best bet. So, you know what? Let's just go for that right now. Okay, now, uh, if you guys have seen my previous video, you saw that there was also a new type of rush that was added in the most recent update, which is... Uh, it was kind of weird. It looked really weird, but it, it kind of makes sense. It was like tightly packed Moabs, which I kind of want to send this guy just to see what happens. I don't. Th I think he'll be able to defend, but I just I've never sent it, and I really want to see what happens. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me just just in case get this up though. There we go. In case he sends anything, and let's see here. Oh damn! Yeah, twenty. <laughs> let's try that. Let's bloom boost it, and let's see how far they get. Okay, so you already. Ooh, I don't know if he can defend that. Okay, he can. He can. Yeah. That was cool though. That's in a rush. By the way, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, as you can see here at the bottom, Adora increased attack speed and super monkeys in range get an additional plus one pierce. Uh, Adora can buff super monkeys, which is just really, really nice about this strategy. Uh, okay, it's so actually going to send some DDTs. It's just an unfortified one though, so that's easy. Uh, easy peasy, absolutely no worries. If he sent a fortified one, it would have been a little more scary, but he did not, so we are absolutely chilling. I do have to watch out though because in the next couple of rounds he will be able to send uh, scarier DDTs pretty much and that will be scary so yeah we're gonna have to increase our defenses in case he does that so let's just go for a couple more super monkeys here And again, he sends unfortified DDTs, so that is not going to do anything. If they were fortified, it would have been a little more scary, but again, they are not. These are, though, so I am going to tower boost this, just in case. And that is going to be easy, easy claps. Easy peasy. And you know what? This guy cannot defend against DDT, so... I think... Yeah, let's just end this game. I want to win this. So let's send those, and GG's. Get to the next game. Alright, we're on the map. Sun Palace, I think this map is called. And let's go for a boomerang monkey. Where should we go for that? Let's go for, let's go for right here. And let's see what happens here. Our opponent is using Dartling Gunner, which, fair enough. I think that's... Yeah, that looks really good for this map. So, fair enough. Uh, let's go for Adora right here. Uh, where should we go for Adora? Uh, I think just behind here is good. Yeah, let's do that. Now, as you could already see in the previous game, like, this strategy is really, really strong. Uh, you can defend against everything, pretty much. You have defenses for everything. Um, it's, yeah, it's just, it's great. It's great. I think because I've already kind of showed late game in this, in this uh, video in a previous game, I think I'm going to try to rush this guy early. Uh, if we can, of course. It really depends on what he's going to do. He's actually using the ninja monkey, which he is going to sell. <laughs> place back down over there okay sure um but yeah i think we're gonna try to rush this guy early we'll just see what happens in this game if we can we will if we can't we can't no worries okay he's gonna send some of those let's just go for a ra oh, ranks in a second please thank you now we should be completely fine now, um, on some maps, like in the wall, for example, uh, the glaive ricochet can be a little annoying from time to time and not be enough. But as you can see, like on this map and on the previous map, this is perfectly fine for everything. Uh, but if it's not, then you're just going to have to place another one and then you'll be fine. 
Uh, now it's round seven. I think I'm just gonna already start equoing with blacks just to make sure we can get this uh, more glaives up in time. So let's start doing that. And he's actually using Agent Jericho, which he just placed down. Oh, and he's using Sniper as well. That is very interesting. You know what? I think I want to rush this guy with a purple rush around 11. It's going to be really scary because I won't have enough money for camo defenses. So if he manages to defend it, then fair enough. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Ooh, yeah, he went for Flash Bomb. I don't know if he's going to be able to defend. Ooh, it's a little scary. Okay, uh, I'm going to need to shimmer here. That's not eco. Come on. He did manage to defend, but we did make him leak down. And we can get the shimmer up here. Now, if he sends us a purple rush back, yes. then I'm probably dead. Maybe a door's ability is going to be enough. But yeah, let's just stop equipping for a second just so we can go for any defenses if needed. Um, you know, I could also just go for a super monkey instead. Okay, no, no, let's just make sure we can get this Mauer Glaze if needed. And yeah, he's gonna send some camo lads. Unfortunately, that's not gonna work because again, we have the shimmer. Uh, so yeah, let's just go for the Mauer Glaze right here, right now. He's gonna actually steal my money, which is a little bit annoying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just go for Super Monkey right here, just in case he sends anything. There we go. This is zero, 0 We can upgrade it if needed. That Moab should be absolutely no worries again. Yeah. We chillin', we chillin'. Ooh, that is a little scary. Let's go for a Laser Blast and... Should we use the Doors ability? Let's use the Doors ability, why not? And Plasma Blast. There we go. Okay. I actually want to just send him a BFB here. Uh, I just want to see how far it goes. So let's do that. And... Hmm. Just gonna Tower Boost. We will take that. Uh, let's make sure we can afford a Dark Knight as well if needed. So, okay, so he popped the BFB layer. I think he'll be able to pop these layers as well. But it was cool to try. That shimmer is being really, really scary. <laughs> so let's get a Dark Knight up. Ooh, wait. Uh... Okay, I guess he didn't have any camo defenses. That's weird. He had, he had Sniper, he had Darling Gunner and Ninja. They can all hit camo. Alright, well, we'll take the free win. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, as I said, like this strategy is crazy. Seriously, if you have these towers and the hero, I would very much recommend using this strategy. It's really, really good. So, yeah. I hope I'll see you all next time. And bye-bye.